I was scared. Maxwell Johnson's granddaughter, Tori Ann, is still clearly shaken by what happened. I try my hardest not to think about it. Just the whole thing being handcuffed and even after all the identification we showed that we are who we are. During their appointment at BMO, a female advisor questioned the pair's identification. Johnson says focusing on their government issued Indian status cards and without their knowledge, called 911. When two police officers arrived, Tori asked her grandfather if they were there for them. I kind of figured they thought we were trying to do something. They came over and grabbed us and led us outside, handcuffed us, told us we weren't under arrest, we were being, t being detained, and then they read us our rights. What led the bank to, to make that phone call? was racial profiling, was, you know, the, the stereotypes, you know, of Indigenous people that led to that. BMO has since apologized, saying the bank shouldn't have called 911. Vancouver's police chief has told CBC News that in that call, the bank described two suspects as a 50-year-old and a 16-year-old, both South Asians. The bank disputes that. Regardless, the pair ended up in the back of a police cruiser. Cuffing a 12-year-old girl. It's just unbelievable. It just brought back memories from stories I've heard of them cuffing younger kids, taking them to residential school, you know. For Tori Ann, the whole experience has left her traumatized. We drove by a BMO bank coming this way, and I got scared of that. If it was a uh, non-native grandfather and granddaughter, I don't think they would have done that. I don't think they would have done that at all. I can't get over it. Johnson says he's now considering a human rights case against BMO and the police. Angela Sterrett, CBC News, Vancouver.